Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> Well, hello guys, and welcome to my 20K subscriber special. Wow, 20,000. And for the celebration of this, I'm gonna do a Q&A. I put a poll on my Instagram, and I've got some questions that we're gonna go through now. But before we start, celebration time. I'm deaf. Enough of that, let's get it started. So guys, got my questions here, and I'm gonna run through them quickly with you lot. The first um, first question I got, how did you become a welder and what is the thing you like most about your job? It's just a two part question, so I'll answer the first one. So how did I become a welder? My my dad got me the job here. Where I'm working now, I've been, I've been here for a while and I was studying to be a mechanic originally and I qualified on the Friday for being a mechanic and on the Monday I started this new job with my dad as an apprentice um, welder fabricator. So that's how I started off. And what is the thing you like most about your job? Oh, oh, that's a tough one. What do I like about my job? I definitely don't like the cold. I can tell you what I don't like, the cold, the smell, the smoke, the grinding dust. But what do I like about it? Um, seeing the arcs, seeing the arc shots, that's that's what's nice. You know when you've um, you've not welded for a bit and then you come into work after missing it and you strike up your first arc you got a clean lens on and then you just see a crystal clear molten pool. That's what I like about my job. Also, I like um, the fact that we're, we're, we're almost like artists being welders. It's, it takes a lot of skill and a lot of effort and a lot of work. But at the end, you have a nice, a nice something to show for it. That's, that's what I like. It's very satisfying to start off with fittings and... Um, bits of pipe and to end up with a welded piece of pipe yeah that's what I like about it how long have you been welding for not just pipe welding all in so I've been welding quite a, quite a few years now I think I think I've been welding for five no sorry I think I've been welding for about six or seven years yeah six or seven years already someone says dream project to work on dream project okay I've not really thought about projects really that's not been on my on my mind if I had to I wish I was in a situation where I could fabricate like a custom car like a vehicle of some sort probably a, a off-roader but living in London um, there's nowhere to to drive these types of vehicles or have off-road vehicles or anything so that's why I haven't really thought about it, but that, that would be my dream job to have like some kind of, sorry, that would be my dream project to be able to make some kind of off-road vehicle. So what else do we have here? Um, you wanna do a shout out, mate? Leon, <laughs> me and this guy have arguments all the time. What machine's better, Thronius or Launch? And I'd say Thronius, but yeah, shout out to you, man, cheers. And how did you get into pipe fitting? So, by pipe fitting, I'm assuming you mean pipe fitting and welding, slashing together. Um, so, when I finished my, my college, and like I said, I started on the Monday, I was an apprentice working my way through to the top tier. In, in this company we was at, they was making brackets and structural stuff, as well as pipe. So, ultimately, the pipe is what I wanted to aim to. So, my dad said to me, if you go back to college to study pipe fitting welding as well as um, learn to become a pipe welder he'll get me a car so <laughs> that isn't really a challenge is it <laughs> so I just stuck with learning how to pipe weld and then I went to college for it as well so so the two of them went hand in hand helped me out and that's how I got into it really I've had a few questions over YouTube Instagram and I think who do you work for the people I work for, they don't want to be mentioned, so I've just I've done my best to keep them anonymous. I've blurred logos in my bay, and I've, I've blurred parts of the video. They don't want nothing to do with the YouTube sides of things, so I'm going to respect that, and I don't answer no questions like that. So, man. Another question, what's your favourite part about welding? Nah, that goes back to seeing the crystal clear arc nothing more beautiful than just seeing your arc spark up for a while especially if you ain't been welding for a while and then you get back to work and then you can see it that's my favorite part 
What do you reckon pays the best? Is best for new fabbies to train in pipe fab or structural? So, I don't know about structural. From my understanding, um, pipe welding is where it's at. Doing it on the pipe. I know many pipe welders that can make a hundred grand a year. Not easily, because you know you got to be good at it. But a hundred grand a year just pipe welding. So, yeah, that's I'd, that's what I'd say. But if I'm wrong, let me know down in the comment section. Next is, what made you want to start a YouTube channel? I don't know. YouTube, I don't know. I've, I've grown up around YouTube. I remember, I think somewhere in back in 2006, somewhere around them times, is when I first discovered YouTube. And ever since then, it's, it's just the website that I've been on every day of my life, really, just watching nonsense videos and stuff. So, you've always seen people start somewhere and over the years just build their self up and I wanted to um, have the opportunities to meet new people, test out new machines, um, and to share with you guys what I do. Um, I've helped out a few people at work, and I thought, why don't I help other people? Granted, I am stealing people's tips that they've told me over the year, and I'm just shouting it out to everyone. But yeah, I like I like the feeling of helping people out. It's it's, it's nice getting messages like these that I get where people can appreciate the help that I'm giving because I remember when I first started to weld I was watching all the videos and a lot of the videos that I was watching it had nothing to do with what I was doing it was a lot of American videos using stick welding there weren't any MIG welding um, videos out there especially none doing what I'm doing so I thought I've got a camera I always record myself anyway let me put myself out there and see the response I got and the response is overwhelming so yeah thanks for that anyway is what mix of gas do you use what pattern do you use when welding so the gas I use is it's an M21 gas mixture 15 to 20 percent co2 let me quickly google it so it's argon universal ISO 14175 M24 um, argon co2 mix I think it's 12 percent argon 2 percent co2 um, so that's that's an M24 mixture on on the site, but with my Fronius machine, it uses an M21 uh, mixture, 15 to 20 percent argon with CO2 in it. So yeah, that's the mix that I use. So yeah, that's the questions that I got answered on my Instagram. Click here or here, one of the two sides, um, to follow my Instagram. You see a lot more videos, a lot more clips, a lot more photos, a lot more content of me rather than waiting once a week to get on my YouTube channel. So while I'm at it, I may as well answer some of the commonly asked questions that I get on my YouTube, for example, such as what mask I use, what tools I use, what machine I use. Someone asked about the gas setting, so the wire I use as well. Um, why do I weld in the directions that I weld? All this sort of stuff, I'm gonna try my best to address them now. So the mask, the mask I use is a Speedglass G501 um, air-fed respirator mask. That consists of the mask, the helmet, the grinding shield, um, all of the fabric that wraps around your face and a hose that goes to my back and on my back is a respirator so what it does it sucks air from from your back which is not directly where the smoke is coming from so it blows the smoke into your face which creates positive air pressure so it's pushing into your face and it's pushing the air out faster than the smoke can come in so you're constantly breathing in fresh ish air the reason why I say fresh ish air because it's only a fancy particulate filter at the moment unless you buy another um, another filter about this big that is the poisonous filter so if you don't have that you're basically it's better than not having any respirator but you can still smell and can hurt your, your lungs from the, the, the welding fumes. Another question I get asked is my welding technique. Um, what machine I'm using, what amps I'm using, as well as the why my welds come out the way they come out. So I'm using a Fronius TPS400i. Um, that's one of Fronius's best machines that they've got out at the moment. It's a 400 amp machine and I weld with one mil solid wire. So it's just the wire is one mil thick and it's not got flux in it, it's got nothing in it, it's just solid wire. It's not copper coated so it's that slightest bit less harmful for you than copper coated wire. But nevertheless you don't want to breathe none of this in. 
but if this is the first time you've seen my channel and you're wondering what I'm talking about go check my videos out see for yourself if the content that I'm sharing is something that you'd like and if it is hit the subscribe button and as for the rest of you lot enjoy your day thanks for watching um, appreciate all the support and I'll see you lot in the next one thanks for watching Zombie Apocalypse.